Now, look, when you change the government, you've heard me say this before, you change the country. And one thing that may have changed recently is the federal government's attitude to our soldiers. When the Chief of the Defence Force, General Angus Campbell, first wanted to strip our Special Forces soldiers of the unit citation on the basis of a report on alleged war crimes in Afghanistan, the then Defence Minister, Peter Dutton, said no. You don't blacken the name of all for the alleged crimes of some. And even then, he said, you only strip medals when allegations result in a conviction. Never before then. But with a different government and a different minister, the CDF is having another go at judging many guilty based on the possible, possible misdeeds of a few. There are reports that General Campbell has just, has just written to serving and former Afghanistan veterans telling them that they could soon be stripped of their medals. If there really have been war crimes committed, the individuals concerned, well, they should be charged and tried swiftly because just de delayed is justice denied. But that's not where we stand tonight, is it? Indeed, all our Special Forces soldiers remain under a sorry cloud of suspicion, despite the fact that the Brereton report was brought down in 2020 and these untested allegations have swirled around Canberra for many years before that. So far, only one person has been charged, only one soldier, and that charge seems to be nowhere near going to trial. Now, I think I speak for the vast majority of Australians who don't think it's fair to leave people in limbo like this, especially people who have put their lives on the line for our country. Now, I've got two basic issues here. First, a level of discomfort I have with people like politicians or defence desk bureaucrats who've never been in combat sitting in righteous judgments of those who have. And second, this idea that the senior officers are somehow blameless for the alleged misdeeds of the troops under their command. General Campbell himself was in overall charge of the Afghanistan campaign between 2011 2014, a time when some of those alleged atrocities took place. Why are others' medals at risk, but apparently not the Distinguished Service Cross that he won for the Afghanistan campaign? To me, it looks like a bad case of double standards, but worse, it smacks of the government that disrespects the uniform, that being the issue here for me is the way it's all been dragged out. Now, charge them. Charge them and let anyone charged defend their good name or, please, for heaven's sakes, move on.